Hi, my son Konnichiwa. Welcome to my new episode of Rami Chan No Proya Kibun Seki News Desk. Today is going to be another great episode because I'm going to be talking about the Pacific League best hitters. On top of that, I'm going to be talking about the most exciting hitters and the breakout season player. So, Stay tuned guys, don't go away because it's going to be good. Before we go there, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell. 3, 2, 1, Yorokon Day, get! Welcome back everyone. Now, I have to admit to you guys that it has, it's been very, very hard to select the best hitters in the Pacific League because this is a, the Pacific League has powerhouse hitters and they have great hitters so it's kind of hard to just narrow it down to three best hitters but here's my third choice best hitter in the pacific league it goes to lakuten eagles asamura asamura last year hit 269 with 80 home runs and 67 rbis but asamura is an rbi machine this guy can get 100 rbis easy and playing in Sendai Stadium most of the games, it's not easy because it's, especially early in the season, it's very cold. And to be able to put those numbers like that is, is really, really good. Now, Asamura is still a very young player and capable of putting great numbers. So for Lakuten Eagles to be able to come back and stay in the third place or stay in the A-class this season or have a chance to win the Pacific League, Asamura is going to be that guy. As long as he can stay up to 2, 290, 300 with 25 plus home runs and 90, 100 RBIs, Lakute Eagles is going to have a chance to stay in the eight class team for 2022 season. Now, my second choice, guys, is very, very hard, and I put a lot into this who was going to be my second choice and this is what I got for you guys it's going to be Softbank Janagida Janagida hit 300 last year 28 home runs and 80 RBIs those numbers look really good but when you know about Janagida's history this guy can pull great numbers this guy can hit over 330 35 home runs and over 100 RBIs, you know, stealing 15, 20 bases, 30 bases have done it. You know, this guy is really, really good. So, putting him in the second place, you know, it's, it was it was very, it was an easy thing to do, but it also was hard because who can be better than Jan Aguida? And I'm going to tell you once I come back. So, stay tuned, guys. So welcome back everyone. Now, before I tell you who is the number one best hitter in the Pacific League, I'm going to tell you about the most exciting players. And there's two choices. My number one choice, the most exciting player is Oryx Buffalo's Mune. Mune hit 272 last year with 9 home runs and 42 RBIs. He got nine stolen bases. This guy can run. This guy can feel that he was he won the gold glove last year at third base. Doing a tremendous job. One of the most exciting players to watch. I had the opportunity to help uh, Mooney when I was a coach also for the Oryx Buffalo a long time ago. And this guy became the player that everybody expected and even better. And he's when you go when you go to the stadium, he's not a big big guy, but when you see him play, it's, it's very exciting to see Mune play. So looking forward to 2022 season, what he's gonna bring to Mune and also the Buffalo's Orioles. Now, my number two choice is Chivalote Marines, Nakamura. Now, Nakamura, we don't really hear too much about Nakamura, but Nakamura is one of those guys that he does everything right. This guy is a really, really good player. And one of the reasons why Chivalote Marines did so great last year, because he was very consistent the whole year, hitting over 300. At the end of the season, he went down a little bit, but 
this guy can put great numbers. Now, last year he ended up hitting 283 with 9 home runs, 67 RBIs, 12 stolen bases. This is not what he's capable of doing. He can do that and better than that, more than that. So I'm expecting Nakamura in 2022 season to come and do a lot better. He over 300, 10, 15 home runs, 70, 75 RBIs, even 20 stolen bases. And, you know, be that player, the most exciting player to watch. Welcome back, everyone. Now, before I tell you guys who is the best hitter in the Pacific League, I'm going to tell you about breakout season player that I'm expecting. It's very much Chinoy because Chivalotti Marines, Wada. A lot of people may say, who is Wada? But this guy is a specialist, base runner specialist. Last year, he won the title, 24 stolen bases. But the year before, he stole 23 stolen bases coming off the bench. And for any manager, any counter who love this type of player, they will give anything for this type of player. Because you know you have somebody in the bench that late in the game, that person is going to make, create an opportunity to score and tie the game or jack tag and win the game. And this is the kind of player Wada is. So the breakout season I'm expecting for, for, uh, for him is I'm expecting him to come off the bench and steal 40 bases or even 50 bases. This guy is capable of doing that. So I strongly believe he's going to have a breakout season this year. So 40 bases at least this year, 2022. Now, the other player is... Nippon Han fighters, Kiyomiya. Now, Kiyomiya, is, uh, this is his fifth year in MPV. And this guy has tremendous potential. But unfortunately, he hasn't developed to be that type of player. Last year, he couldn't play in the Ichigun level. He spent most of the time in the Nigun. But this guy has a really, really good chance to come up and hit 300, 30 home runs, 100 RBIs. Now, with now with the new manager, Big Boss, it's a great opportunity to give Kiyomiya the opportunity to just play. Let him play, let him develop, let him be the player everybody's expecting him to be. So, if Kiyomiya gets the opportunity to play every single day, Kiyomiya is going to have a breakout season. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. So, big boss, Kiyomiya is on your hands. Now guys, I'm going to tell you guys who is the number one hitter in the Pacific League. It shouldn't be any surprise for any of you guys. Oryx Buffalo's Yoshida. This guy has tremendous ability to hit. He's a great hitter has put numbers, crazy, crazy numbers. Last year, he 339, 21 home runs, 72 RBIs. It's just, it just, he's a natural hitter. Now, those numbers, it looks like he can do better than that, and I strongly believe he can do better than that. This is a guy who can win, uh, hit 30 home runs, get 100 RBIs, hit all, way over 3, 330, which is not easy, especially in the Pacific League. And, but he does it. He, he, you know, he can do it. So, and, but for all these Buffaloes to be able to stay, stay in the A-class team 2022 season, Yoshida needs to continue, stay consistent, put, continue putting those numbers because uh, other than that, it can, things can change quick. But when you talk about pure hitter, Yoshida is the number one hitter in the Pacific League. So if you guys like this episode, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell. Three, two, one, yo